What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. You guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content. You can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for all signs. Got to decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Uh, I received, an, received another one. It's 9 46 a.m. 1 2 2023. Happy New Year's, everybody! Woo! Okay, not a good one though. So trigger warning, click off if it triggers you. Okay. All right. So the channel message I received was um You okay? You okay? Okay. Um the channel message I received was a very dirty criminal Taurus masculine that's a member uh, Mason, member of member of a Mason group, Mason, I heard. Um uh, he's about to pass away um uh, in a very unexpected way soon. I heard he was supposed to deliver money to a feminine money and information to a particular feminine energy, but he has refused to do so. He's about to pass away in a series of misfortune events. There's a lot of series of misfortune events in here. Hell, we have at least well, there's two groups in the last reading of FBI and CIA masculine energies about to pass away. A series of misfortune events. This dude's about to pass away in a series of misfortune events too. Member of Mason Group. Damn. He has refused to do the right thing. He has refused to do the right thing is what I heard. He's refused to do the right thing. I heard he was supposed to deliver money and information to a particular feminine energy in the past, but he's done neither of those things. So I guess this is his negative karma, universal karma coming around for his ass. Because he's refusing to do the right thing. Um, is what I'm presuming here. Yeah, he hasn't given her the sudden wealth. He hasn't moved towards her. Journey reverse. He was supposed to deliver her money and information. Occupation popped out too. Number 34 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 34. He's very ashamed about the past and he's about to pay for it with his life. He's very ashamed about the past and he's about to pay for it with his life. Damn. He's a member of a Mason group. I'll tell you that. So he's very ashamed of the past and he's about to pay for it with his life. I feel for some of you guys watching my channel or maybe about to watch my channel. I think you might get a text, phone call, email, or some kind of phone communication about it. Cause that's confirmation my phone, but you plug it in how it resonates. I got the occupation card. Um, let me see if I hear anything on this. He doesn't work. She does. And this is creating a lot of conflict in the community because of the past. Okay, I heard he doesn't work and she does. And this is creating a lot of conflict um, in the, their community uh, because of the past. So he is occupation reversed. He doesn't work. He could be retired or have a business or be an owner of a business. I mean, like minimal exertion um, or no, none. But she does. The one he was supposed to deliver information and um, money to. But it's causing a lot of conflict in their community because she works. And I'm assuming his community or their community knows she works and he doesn't. But probably because he stole some money from her ass. He most certainly did. Oh, it's confirmation. He most certainly did. Yeah. He stole money from her ass. He was supposed to deliver money and information to her in the past. I heard he's ashamed. Well... Because he's a fucking thief? Yeah. Because he's a fucking thief. Just saying. Just saying. If I was you, Femme Energy, I wouldn't accept that money. I'd be going to the fucking FBI or uh, the CIA if somebody come towards me with some kind of dirty ass money. Hush money. Because that's basically what that shit is. It's hush money. I didn't hear that, Femme Energy. But if I was you, you could take the advice or leave it. He's about to pass away. If some nasty, raunchy ass person comes towards you of your past, I'm presuming, or maybe not of your past, and offers you some kind of money unexpectedly, that's called hush money. Don't accept it, because then you get drug into the nasty ass shit. I wouldn't accept it. Of course, you have the free will to accept it, but I sure as fuck wouldn't. He, he's about to pass away, ma'am. I'd stay out of his dirty ass tactics. He stole money from you in the past. 
you work in the energetic space and his lazy ass don't because he stole the money from you. Probably not to work. And that's just damn true. Some very strange things are going to start happening to his bloodline and to his mental health soon. He will not make it make it to you. Know this. Okay, uh, ma'am, if this resonates for you, your femme energy, I heard some very strange things are going to start happening to his bloodline. So that would make sense with the child card and the community. The community knows he stole this money from you. The community knows what happened. I think the community knows he was supposed to bring you this money and information in the past, but his crazy, lazy ass decided not to do the right thing. So much so, he stole money from your ass. So what, what makes the community think he was going to do the right thing now? Because he didn't in the past. Actions speak louder than words. If anybody needs to hear that, just say. Once a criminal, always a criminal, apparently. I don't specialize in criminal. But anyways, um, I heard he's about to start having some weird things happen with his bloodline. I.e., I think his children or people in his bloodline's children. Or this could be adult people too. Kid, um, I'm thinking, we have child cards. So I'm thinking maybe kids. His kids or somebody else's kids. But it also could be adult bloodline too. I heard bloodline. So it could be anybody in his bloodline. And his mental health is about to go down. I heard he's not even going to make it to you. I think his ass is going to croak before he even gets to your ass. And honestly, I don't wish death on anybody, ma'am. But you sure as hell don't need this crooked ass person in your life. That's just damn true. I was you. I would just keep on earning my money properly. It sounds like that's the way you're doing it. He sounds like a lazy ass motherfucker is what he sounds like. He most certainly is. <coughs> that's confirmation he most certainly is yeah why do you want a lazy ass motherfucker in your life I heard he is but I heard he's not even going to get towards you series of misfortunate events <coughs> series of misfortunate events so series of misfortunate events are going to occur so he doesn't get towards you it might be the mental health exacerbation inside himself with his mental health issues about to go cray cray whether he has a history of mental health issues or he doesn't. Um, or something going on in his bloodline. And whoever you are, I don't think you're a part of his bloodline. You most certainly are not. And thank God you're not. Oh my God, I heard you're most... You're not a part of his bloodline. So you're not a part of his family. And I'm presuming you don't have a kid with him or kids with him. Or, you know, you're not no baby mama. So um, you're not a part of his bloodline. I heard, thank God you're not. So, it sounds like you dodged a huge-ass bullet, ma'am. I mean, you might be in the poorhouse or near the poorhouse or not near as wealthy as him. But just, just know it's because he stole money from you. So, hell. is what it is. All right. I love you guys. Everybody have a good day and namaste.